good official morning, you guys. Um, still not feeling the greatest. And I feel like people... I don't know. I feel like people... Um, I feel like I'm kind of like misunderstood in a way. Because I look fine. And, you know, like, I am, quote, fine. Because, like, I, t you know, like, I take my medication and I do what I'm supposed to do. But, like, I don't feel good. Um, just a lot of anxiety and panic attacks lately and I just feel gross and I don't I don't know what to do I see my doctor in three weeks though but I think I'll start to feel better hopefully this coming week um but these past like three weeks have been really super hard for me um <laughs> But I don't know. But anyway, I think I'm going to watch a movie on Netflix. And uh, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. I'm going to dress today for the first time in God knows how long. Hope is here, chilling. Sully's here, chilling. We did some training this morning. We did place. I can now be at the uh, dining room table and ask her to go to place. And she will go. So that's good. Good girl, yeah. So I'm just really trying to focus on, like, the good things that have been happening lately. Like, she's getting more trained and, like, whatever, so. So with his bone in the sun, the sun outside, the sun in the skylight, yeah. So it is 3.30, 3.33 actually. And we are down at my grandma's house again. And I'm feeling a little bit better today because this morning I um, used a coping skill that I was given to get through the trip to Carolina. And I wrote a letter to my favorite um, Hello. Hey, huh? Oh, it's hot, hotter than Hades. Wow. Oh, sure. Be I, careful now. I, I never saw um, I never saw the heat this high. Real? Never. Oh, um, they said 2012 was the last time. 2012? Yeah. Oh, because I can't remember. Shoot. Yeah. Stay cool. Good call. Yep. Be yep. Um. But I uh, wrote a letter to one of my favorite um, people, and I um, I didn't send it just in my my notebook, my notepad, or my phone. But um, you know, I, I'm just trying to cope with situations that are around me, and sometimes I feel. Um, misunderstood and I've joined a few support groups on Facebook for some of the different things that I deal with on a daily basis. Um, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people can say that about a lot of things that they feel misunderstood, but I feel really mis misunderstood. Um, you know, and I just, you know, I feel like that I can't explain things in a way that people would understand them. So I feel like it's, it's tough because you wouldn't understand unless you go through it, obviously. And I don't expect people to understand because they haven't been through it. And, you know, the uh, low point in my year was to definitely, definitely going to the psych ward. 
Um, I would say that was rock bottom for me. And um, basically for the last seven months, it's been how do I rebuild myself with healthier um, coping skills and different things like that. How do I, um, you know, not get so angry? How do I just, um, how do I do things in a different way that's more constructive and more like, you know, healthy for me? Um, and basically, like, how do I live a life alongside this condition that I now have and I will have for the rest of my life and I will have to be medicated some point for the rest of my life and, um, it's just a lot to take in, but, um, people live normal lives with these conditions and I am trying to, but it's just, like, a lot because it feels like I mean, I've been on mood drugs before, so it's not like... I've been on mood drugs since I've been 18, but, you know... Um, it's... A lot to, um... To just be like, well... You know, you could do it this way, and... Um, you know this combination and you know this type of therapy but I hate when I want to talk about something and last week she only gave me 10 minutes to talk about said thing and I um I wanted more time and she um She didn't give it to me, and that was really, really rough, uh, because I feel like I control those, um, sessions, or at least I should, um, because, again, I hired her to get to the root of the issue, because mania wasn't the issue. It was the explosion of the issue, but it wasn't the issue. Um, it was a symptom of the issue. And so it's just like... How do I... It's like, how do I deal with the symptoms of the issue while dealing with the issue? Um, that's been super hard the past like month, I would say. Um, and I'm going to definitely text my therapist. I don't want to text her on a weekend, but definitely think Monday I'm gonna like fill her in on how I'm feeling because I don't feel good and I don't necessarily understand why because I'm taking my medication I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to do I'm doing you know everything and it just doesn't make sense to me and I'm really confused actually because you know you're supposed to take your meds and you're supposed to um you're, you know you're supposed to take your meds you're supposed to do what you gotta do and um I don't 
necessarily know why that's not working for me now um, because it was working for a really long time and I don't necessarily understand hey. hello your bluetooth oh that's fun Alright, see ya. Um, I don't necessarily know why it's not working um, anymore because it was for stupid my mom called. But I just, I don't necessarily know why that it's not working. I just know that something is off within me and not that I need to go to the hospital or anything because I'm on medication and I'm not anywhere near to the point that I was, but I just know that emotionally I'm not, like, I'm not okay right now. Oops. And I just and I'm, I'm emotionally like not um okay um I uh <sighs> sorry I really wish I could text my therapist right now but I'm not gonna bother her on a good Saturday she probably wouldn't even respond until Monday because knowing me, she has her phone off. My luck. Top.